Modern vehicles have so many sensors that can give you a status on how the car's running. I'm gonna use my OBD Bluetooth scanner, uh, which I can link to in the video description, to see how this car's running. I got my V-Pack dongle, and I use OBD Fusion app to link these two together. And it can let me know the trouble codes and a few other things going on with the vehicle. So once we connect it to this 2017 Nissan Armada, we can kind of see what's going on. So it's connected. Now it's reading the trouble codes. There are none. And then we can go to the dashboard and modify it to view the items we want, at least that are loaded on the, the app. And right now I have my oxygen sensors, bank one, sensor one and two, bank two, sensor one and two. As I'm driving down the road, it is updating this data more or less in real time. And when I'm taking these readings, you want to do it with the car fully warm to get real accurate readings because the O2 sensors are not giving true accurate readings as the car is warming up. Only once it's up to temperature are these actually giving real results. And what you want to see is little fluctuation. So if we can look at the, the top two boxes, which are both sensor two, that's the downstream sensor, and then the bottom two boxes are sensor one, Basically, we don't want to see these fluctuating too much. Um, you see that they did bounce up and down. That's because I'm hitting the accelerator at those points, which is to be expected. But once you're cruising, say with the cruise control on, you really want to see these charts level out and not bounce around because that means the air fuel mixture going in to the engine and coming out of the exhaust is being measured and expected where it needs to be. If it's not, it's gonna give weird readings and then bounce around and then try to correct itself. So this can take a while, just uh, about 10, 15 minutes of driving to get some real accurate data. And then you need to relate it to when you hit the accelerator pedal and you can kind of see what these O2 sensors are picking up and reading. If you're getting lots of fluctuations, this could mean many things, a problem with the air fuel mixture at any point of the system. It could mean an exhaust leak. It could mean your catalytic converter is not operating at efficiency if it's the second sensor. These readings will also help you determine if an O2 sensor is bad. Um, if it's just giving a static line, some, some crazy rating, that O2 sensor is obviously bad. That's not the only way an O2 sensor can be bad, but looking at the data will help guide you in your repair. And you can see these sensors give it long enough and cruising it does level out. I got some other dashboards loaded up here. You can see some of them didn't load up. I was trying to get the exhaust gas temperatures to evaluate how the catalytic converters are doing. Now, I don't know if this is really anything to go on. I need to investigate this further, but you can see for bank one sensor one, the top two boxes, I have an exhaust gas temperature and a catalyst temperature. And the exhaust temperature going in is 952 at this point, and the catalyst temperature is 917. To me, that would indicate that the catalytic converter is not operating correctly because truly you want to see a higher temperature exiting the catalytic converter because chemical reactions are happening inside the catalytic converter and it should produce more heat. So this is one way to <coughs> determine if your catalytic converters are operating correctly is if the inlet temperature is lower than the outlet temperature, it should be working correctly. In this case, it was either even, more or less even, inlet, outlet, or the inlet was slightly higher. Um, this vehicle has about 105,000 miles on it, so it is about time that the cats stop, start losing efficiency. We'll look at this further. It hasn't thrown any codes yet, so they could be operating above the threshold for the code, but it would seem to me that these cats are on the second half of their life. Um, all the, the OBD sensor readings indicate that everything's operating as it should, but it could be that these are going to throw a code soon for the catalytic converter, uh, 0420, 0430 codes. But we'll see. We'll keep our eye on it and see if it falls below efficiency. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Any additional links will be provided in the video description. And if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment. I'll do my best to get back to you.